down the main straight. Had a ripple strip, time penalty there for sure. Which lap would not be included. Exclude that lap. Oh. <laughs> it's a drift part, yeah. What's up, everyone? Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24 7. Check out this Q25 series. Same as this guy here, the old uh, school Datsun 240Z. I think it is a I'll leave a link in the uh, top right corner there if you want. We have a new one here. I think it looks like an old, I don't know, like an old original Skyline, I believe. I think that's how they used to look. Flame me down in the comments if they don't. These are really cool. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go check it out. This is like an all-in-one package. It comes with the, the goggles, the controller, the car, obviously. And, you know, batteries all ready to rock and roll. It even comes with a mat. So you can go do your thing on the ground. But let's have a quick look inside the package. They come with awesome stickers. So check out these. I know Zach's going to get these from me straight away but look at these awesome looking stickers aren't they mad look at those so these are cool you can stick a bomb your macbook with is that instruction manuals look at this bad boy gives you a scale tiny i love all aspects of the hobby and the good thing about this it's full proportional steering and throttle as well look at that nice little front and rear end there leds in there as well really <laughs> really cool now it comes in different colors as well we also get charging Cable, keychain. So I forgot to mention, here is the FPV module itself. So I guess you run it without it if you want, but this guy plugs into the top just in there. That's it. So, ah, that's excellent. So see that? Magnetic. I'm not too sure if that one, the old version done that, but look at this. That's cool. So if you hit something, it just comes off. But that's fantastic. That's a great idea. Little Two little neodymium magnets hiding out the little FPV module. Look at that. What a stumpy looking little unit. All right, next up we have the controller. Same as the one as well. This one's just black, gives you everything you need. Your lights, uh, I think underbody lights as well. Your trims and all that kind of cool stuff. Here we go. Nice, small, but it definitely does a job. I do like it. Next layer, this is all the goodies for the FPV unit. All right, there we go. Here's your goggles, two antennas. You can record the footage as well, just here. Change your band, gives you your, when it's on, uh, shows you when it's on the indicator there and also your battery indicator sorry as well menu button search button everything is there i'll quickly show you when i when i plug it all in comes with your two antennas another charging cable there and an old school rca cable all right got the car plugged in we'll charge it up in a bit but i want to show you how it all looks so as you can see proportional steering blinkers as well <laughs> at the back pretty sweet and you can see proportional throttle now on the back here you have 70% uh, and 100% throttle. We'll obviously leave it at 100% on and off button. Your steering trims as well. And you have some, this is a multi-function button to get to the settings. This first one here is to turn on the front lights and low beams and high beams. So push that once like that. And it's also got a blinker swing. This second one here is underbody lights. You have a few colors there and you can obviously have them off. And this button here is actually turns on the FPV system. So turn on the goggles and this auto scans and everything. So if I push the button here, watch this. Look at that. Where am I? There I am. So as you can see, it records in pretty, it's actually quite good um, quality as well. And we've still got the uh, Plastic on the lens. Let me take this plastic off. There we go. So I don't know if that looks better, but as you can see, it's pretty cool footage. These are really, really great. So Zach's filming that, filming me like an inception type of look there. So what we'll do, we'll, <laughs> we'll actually charge this up and we'll have a little go on the ground and see how it looks. Also, I got this as well. I think it's like a map, a map, a road. Actually, this is quite big. The other one was uh, ooh, it's pretty huge. sweet. There we go. There. Flag. That's pretty cool. So that's like the size of a flag. Nice. So I guess we can put this on the ground and have a little bit of a, a race. All right, guys, we're inside the house here. Kind of smoother for these little guys. We'll give it a go. They're pretty quick. <laughs> it goes pretty far. You know, I've got this little mat here. As you can see, you've got to try to follow it. Got to iron this out, maybe be a little bit better. But what's cool about this, you can just follow it up, take it to your mate's house, have a battle. Just see if you can stick between the lines. <laughs> you 
Yeah, the ID. Oh, <laughs> crash. What I'll do, I'll turn the camera on. So point the uh, point the camera into the goggles. You can actually record this. Uh, I just haven't got the micro SD card, so if I push the little button here, record it. If I push that, there we go. Thanks. So as you can see. Just go around the house. Pretty fun. <laughs> you gotta explore the house, go under things, see if you, uh, you're doing your vacuum cleaning. That's for sure. <laughs> really, really cool. I've done this on the other video as well for the other car, that, like the 240. Pretty fun. It's got a little drift part on this track as well, but I don't think it's going to be drifting with these tyres. You get the idea, you kind of try to follow the track. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Down the main straight. Over the ripple strip. Time penalty there for sure. My lap would not be included. Exclude that lap. It's oh. <laughs> a drift part. <button>, yeah. <laughs> that would look kind of for the drifting, but uh, don't play me. What's, I forgot to mention what's good about this. The controller actually has batteries in as well. All comes ready to rock and roll, and you can charge it from, you can charge a car from the controller as well. This uh, has three different cables for everything. So I do like the. The lights, so you got blinkers, underbody glow, there we go. Red, purple, blue, green, that's a nice colour. And off, and also headlights, high beams, and off. High beams are pretty cool, and you got the blinkers as well, I'll show you the rear end. And uh, if you're watching the FPV, you're going to be getting a headache. But, is the FPV going still? Yep. As you can see there, as you can see on the camera, it does look pretty cool. And you don't have to drive like a maniac as well, obviously, because it's it is proportional control. You can just take it easy and have fun, just kind of explore around the house. Let's see how far it goes. Right, you stay there. Let's see how good the image gets. Let's see how it goes through the walls, because it's 5.8 gigahertz. You just stay there. I'll, I'll just go for the warm up. Still say it the whole way. Pretty good. <laughs> well, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Should be seeing it on that screen and the other screen. Pretty cool little car. What do you reckon? Look at that inception there. <laughs> well, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you like it, leave it down. Well, the links are down below. Go check it out. If you haven't, please subscribe and uh, yeah, have fun. Pretty cool little car, and what I love about this hobby is all these different types of things you can get nowadays. You know, these mini cars, one one hundredth of a scale, up to one fifth scale, and like I said in my channel before, V8s, all these type of cool things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>